Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another command in the Linux that is a common command that is pwd. So what is this pwd command? The pwd command in the Linux stands for print working directory. So if you try to type here pwd, so this is called the full form for this one is called as a print working directory. It is used to display the current working directory, which is the directory that you are currently is in the within the file system so normally when you open a terminal or command line interface in the linux you start in a specific directory that will be a normally usually it will be a your home directory okay so that is normally will be a home directory so right now you will be able to see a tilde icon it is there so that means that is our home directory we are currently right now we are in the home directory so why because as i already told you in our previous video so the normally the in the Linux or the Unix type operating systems. So one root directory will be there, which is generated by the slash and under this uh, root directory, all the folders will be resided. Whereas in the windows, it is a different thing. So it, it follows the hierarchical tree like folder structure. So here normally when you open a terminal, automatically it will go to the home directory. That is nothing but the current logged in home directory, which you are right now. So as you navigate through the file system using commands like CD, the pwd command can be used can be used to check your current location in the directory hierarchy so now i will try to show you here is how the actually the pwd command works so you can open a terminal or command line interface in the linux then you can type just pwd and press the enter key the command will be executed and the result will be displayed on the screen so right now i am you will be able to see that is nothing but home slash test user so i will try to minimize this one the output of the pwd command will be an absolute path of the current working directory an absolute path is the complete path starting from the root directory here this is the absolute path if you try to see here it is home slash test user so example for example if you are currently in the home test test user means so here the pwd will display something like home slash home slash test, test user as the output <coughs> so this is how we will be uh, using this pwd current uh, if you want to know about this one so for example let's say that i went into a home uh, let's say that uh, we are in another directory okay so i went to the home user so now if you want to know which directory i am in means so you can use it like this pwd and if you go to cd home means we'll try to learn about this cd also so pwd means then i will try to tell you that you are in the home so this is how the pwd command will be used so this is the most common command which we will be using in the unix environment so why we will be using this command is in order to know at which directory location so the user is currently in and apart from this one so we will learn about the another important command in the unix type operating systems or in the linux so that is nothing but ls command so what is this ls command so this ls command utility list the un utility list the information about the files in the current directory by default this information includes the size creation date permissions owner and group associated with the files and the directories the ls command sorts the output in alphabetical order by name also so now we will try to learn everything about this ls command with some examples i will try to show you this ls is a simple and powerful command when working with a large amount of data or the files especially when processing files based on the specific dates. So first the command which I want to show you is the ls command. So before proceeding into this one, so if you try to see the manual for the pwd means so you can type it like this mn pwd and here you will be able to see this all the code. Okay. So right, the, the pwd command doesn't have any options for this one. So that is about this one. So now we are learning about the ls command, right? So the common, the first word is the ls. So when you try to type ls or otherwise let's move on to the test user okay so when you type ls it will give you the all the files that are available for files or the directories that are available in that particular directory so right now we are trying to check in the home slash if you type pwd so these are all the files desktop downloads pictures and these are all the files that are available in the home slash test user when we type ls command without any arguments it lists the files or the directories in the current directory without giving any, any information about the files 
So right directly it is giving you the file name or the directory name. In the output, now you can see all the files and the directories present in our current directory. So here also you can see different types of colors also you'll be able to see. So blue color actually represents the directories. White color, normally if you try to see, it will represent the text files. And purple color, you'll be having some purple colors. Purple colors. So that will represent the images. So fine. So now we have learned about the basic thing about this ls command. So ls command, what it will try to do, it will try to list all the files and the directories present in the current working directory. Now, if I want to list all the directory contents and all those things means so ls command with an hyphen a argument lists everything in the current directory, including the hidden files and directories also. So when you want to see the hidden files, use ls with an hyphen a argument so that means ls hyphen a then it will list you all the files and the directories and also the hidden files also will be shown so if you try to press ls hyphen a so hidden files is normally if you try to see dot which whichever the files starting with the dot normally those files are called as in hidden files so here you'll be able to see bash rc cache config dot gnupg so these are all the hidden files and the directories so if you want to see those directories and all the things means then you need to type the command ls with an argument of hyphen a. So this is one thing. And the dot symbol if you if you try to see at the start of the files or directory represents the hidden files and the directories. And if you look at the output in the above screenshot you can see dot and dot dot at the beginning. The single dot represents the current directory. The double dot represents symbol represents the previous directory that is one level up to the current directory. Okay. So the current directory and the one level up to the current directory. Now, for example, I told you, right? So the dot represents the current directory and dot dot represents the previous directory means then if you want to check the list of files in the previous directory means then directly you can type dot dot. Now it will give you the uh, list that are available in the home. So right now the present working directory is home slash test user. If you try to type ls hyphen here, it is giving you the list of files that are available in the home slash test user. So in the same scenario, if you try to type ls hyphen space dot dot means it will try to give you the files of the previous directory. So that means it will be slash home only in the slash home. You'll be able to see that only one uh, user is there that two currently logged in user test user. So that is the reason we are able to see only one file. So this is one thing which you want which I want to explain you. And the another one which I want to explain you is the important thing that is hyphen L command. So the ls hyphen L command lists the files and the directories in a long listing format. The hyphen L argument to ls command shows all the information like permissions, owner, group, size, creation date and name of the files and the directories also. So if I try to type ls hyphen L, so now you will be able to see all the information about this one. So here you will be able to see so permissions, what are the permissions we are having? We'll learn about these permissions also. So read, write, execute, these are all permissions. We'll try to see owner group and also these all things. So here you'll be able to see the group and the username. And here you'll be able to see uh, this one. So that is nothing but the size and creation date and also the name of the files and the directories. So like this, you'll be able to see. So this is also one command hyphen L command. Now, for example, let's say that if you want to read this one in a human readable format means so LH LS command has an hyphen H argument for that one. When given the with hyphen L argument or hyphen S argument shows the output in a human readable format. The human readable format means it gives you the information of the files or directory sizes in the kilobyte, megabytes, gigabytes like that, etc. So here it is showing 4096 like that, right? If I try to use a combination with hyphen H means then it is giving you that is it is around 4 KV. So like this, you will be able to get it in human readable format. So this is hyphen H. Okay. So not only like this, so you can also check. So what are the files available in the root path? So you can uh, directly give the path. What are the files present LH and you can use slash home means it will give you directly like this. So like this also to list the contents of the specific directory also you can type the directory name in the current directory otherwise use the full path of the directory after the ls command it will directly give you all the details. So this is also one way how you can use it. And apart from this one you also have an another one that is nothing but hyphen or option. So hyphen or option if you try to give it will give you 
all the recursively all the file contents that are available so here you'll be able to see so what are the what is the directory and inside the directory what are the files available so it will try to give you recursively hyphen or command so this is also one thing which you'd want to understand so normally if you try to see uh, the ls command will list you all the files or the directories in an ascending order if you want to uh, display all the files in a descending order means then you can use hyphen or then it will give you all the files in a descending order see videos v is a bigger word right so that is the reason it is coming descending order so this is you can also use in the combination with an other arguments also hyphen lr means it will give you in a long listing format with the descending order so that is also one thing so these are all some of the uh, helpful options that are available in the ls thing so if you want to learn more about this one means so you can just go to the man command so which is available and you can type ls so that you can able to see hyphen a option which we have learned it and hyphen b so these are all the different types of options which are available so if you want you can use these options so just i have explained you what are the most common com arguments which i will be using more often so these things are the things hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you